Introduction This document will offer you a quick overview of PCS7 engineering steps. 1. Create a project. 2. Set up communications. 3. Create CFC charts, PID amp, motor. 4. Insert SFC into unit folder, motor start sequence. 5. Start simulator. 6. Compile and download. 7. Set WinCC runtime properties. 8. Compile OS, including controller functions, PID, to operator station, displays, etc. 9. Activate OS. 10. Test configuration. 11. Create a copy of the first unit. 12. Making changes in runtime. A new PCS7 multi project is created using the project wizard. A PID loop and a motor, as well as an SFC, are created. The unit and the charts are compiled and downloaded to PLC Sim. The OS is compiled and activated, and the simulation is tested and observed in the OS. The unit is then duplicated and the new unit is compiled and downloaded to demonstrate online changes. Here are the steps. 1. Create a project. Open Somatic Manager. If the previous project opens, close it. From the File menu, choose New Project Wizard. Click on the Preview button, if desired, to see what the plant view and the component view will look like. Click on Next. Normally, you should select the exact hardware you will be using, but we will be simulating the controller, so the selections here are made for the sake of example. Select AS417-4 and zero communication modules. Click on Next. Select. Number of levels equals 3. Uncheck CFC chart. Uncheck SFC chart. Check PCS7 OS. Single station system. Click on Next. Enter a name that makes sense to you into the directory name field. Check the storage location path, field, and change the path, if needed, to be sure you will be able to find the project later. Click on the finish button to finish the project, and OK any pop-ups. This will take about 4 to 5 minutes. Result, project created and shown in two views, component and plant view. Open the process object view, by selecting view, and after, process object view. From the window menu, choose arrange, and after, Horizontally or press Shift plus F2 to arrange windows as shown. 2. How to set up communications. From Somatic Manager, open NetPro by selecting Options, and after, configure network. NetPro is the graphical tool that manages the various networks used by the system. Double click on the text Somatic PC Station 1 or the computer graphic, or right click and select Open Object to bring up its hardware configuration. In the catalog on the right side, navigate to the eGeneral folder, as shown in picture, and drag the item inside to the third slot on the rack to the left. Click OK to close the properties box that comes up. The network properties will be automatically generated by NetPro. Select station, and after save and compile, then close the HW config window to return to NetPro. Select the industrial Ethernet subnet on the right side, and then drag it onto the open area to the left, to create a new industrial Ethernet network. Create the Ethernet network by dragging the green boxes in the 400 controller and PC to the green line representing the Ethernet network. Addresses are automatically assigned, and the network is almost ready to use. Save and compile the configuration by selecting Network, and after, Save and Compile, OK, the window, then close NetPro. Chapter 3. How to Create CFC Charts, PID and Motor In Somatic Manager, File Menu, Open, select the Libraries tab. Open the PCS7 AP Library. Navigate to Templates in the left pane of the Library window, click to open the Templates folder, 
then drag and drop the desired functions, PID con underscore con promon, motor lean, into process object view under function 1. Close the library. Note, you can use control plus click to select multiple charts to drag. We must enable simulation in the charts we will use. The PID chart is already set up, but the motor chart must be changed to activate the simulation. Open the motor lean CFC chart, right click on it and select open object, inside the function 1 folder. Select the control output, start, of the motor block, followed by the simulation input, simpv underscore in, of the FBK run block to make a connection between them. Open the sim underscore on field of the FBK run block and change the value to 1, to simulate input. Close the window for the motor lean chart. Close the CFC editor. Chapter 4 How to insert SFC into unit folder, motor start sequence. SFCs run at unit level talking to various functions in the unit. In process object view. Right click on unit 1 in the left pane, choose insert new object, and after, SFC, and rename SFC1 to sequence. Right click on sequence and select open object to open it in the SFC editor. Select insert step, plus, transition from the toolbar at left and insert a transition, small, and a step, large, between start and transition 1. They should become transition 2 and step 3. Click on the pointer icon on the toolbar, or press escape, to turn insert step plus, transition mode off. Begin setting up the properties of each step slash transition by double clicking on transition 2, upper small block, to open it, then selecting the condition tab. Click browse, then browse to PID con underscore con promon, PID, then PV. Right click on PV. Choose open structure. In the newly open structure dialog, select value, then click apply. Set condition to greater equal than 66. Close the properties for transition 2. Open step 3, go to the processing tab, and insert statements as shown, using the previous method, image shown as result. Browse to motor lean, motor. Set actions to be start out equals true, stop out equals false, remember to open the structure. Select transition 2 and step 3, and copy using Ctrl and C keys. Paste new copies by pressing Ctrl and V keys, and then moving the cursor under step 3, large rectangle, and click left mouse button. Copies of the original transition and step will appear where you indicated. Open copied transition and change to PV less than 33. Open copied step and change to start out equals false, stop out equals true. Close SFC. Chapter 5. Start the simulator. Click simulator on the toolbar to start PLC sim. Check the run P box to set the CPU to run. Ensure that PLC sim, using, TCPIP, mode, is selected. Minimize PLC sim, return to somatic manager. Chapter 6. Compile and download. In component view, select charts folder. Click on the download icon on the toolbar in Somatic Manager. Acknowledge all following dialogs and close the log file after downloading. You can now test that your simulated PLC is running correctly. From Somatic Manager, Component View, Charts folder, double click on the PID con underscore con promote chart icon, to open the chart in the CFC editor. Switch to Online Mode, Debug Menu and Test Mode. Select the PID block. Turn watch on, debug menu and watch on. The monitored variables should be highlighted in yellow. If this occurs, then the download was successful, and the simulated CPU is running correctly. Close the CFC editor. Chapter 7. Set WinCC runtime properties in plant view. Right click on process cell 1 choose plant hierarchy, and after, settings. Set the number of hierarchy levels to 3, choose OS area level 2 which corresponds to the unit level, and be sure derive picture hierarchy from, is checked. Chapter 8. Compile OS, controller functions, PID, to operator station picture displays, etc. In component view. Right click on OS, then select compile. Click on next button twice. Confirm the WinCC unit of the connection is TCPIP. If you need to make any changes, press the connection button, 
and then use the drop down boxes to make your selection and click OK. Click the Finish button. Click Compile, and wait for it to complete. Click OK to the pop up box at the end. In the Component view, right click on OS and Open Object. It opens WinCC and loads Picture Tree, etc. from Projects Database. Navigate under the Tag Management section to TCP IP. Right click, and select System Parameter. On the Unit tab, ensure that the logical device name is S7 Online. Close WinCC, then reopen it so the settings can take effect. Chapter 9 Activate OS. In Somatic Manager, Component View. Right click on OS and Open Object. It opens WinCC and loads Picture Tree, etc. from Projects Database. Start the runtime OS using the Activate button Play in WinCC Explorer. Chapter 10 Test Configuration Select Unit 1 Graphic. Open Motor, click on Symbol. Put Motor in Auto. Repeat and put the PID symbol in Automatic Mode. Move PID faceplate to the right side of the screen to open up space. Click on the sequence icon to bring up the SFC's faceplate. Click the section button to see the steps of the SFC. Click on start to begin executing the sequence and OK the pop up. Now, from the PID faceplate, change the set point to 80 and watch the motor symbol turn on. Change set point to 10 and motor should stop. Chapter 11 Create a copy of the first unit. Leave runtime running, and return to Somatic Manager, using Alt Tab. From Somatic Manager, Plant View. Right click Unit, choose Copy, select Process Cell, right click on Process Cell, and choose Paste. Rename new unit as desired. For example Unit, 2. This results in a clone of unit under the Process Cell with newly identified functions included. Note the automatic renaming, 1, of the unit, CFC, SFC, etc. Chapter 12 Making Changes in Runtime From Somatic Manager Component View, begin to download the Charts folder as before. Select the Changes Only option from both tabs, Compile Charts as Program and S7 Download, before hitting OK to begin. Right click on the OS and select the Compile command. Click through to the screen below and select Changes Only. After the compile is complete, return to the runtime. You can see both units are now functional. Note that no additional configuration was needed to accomplish this.